So obviously there are a lot of different social media platforms out there, but um, Facebook is kind of the important one. Um, it's the one that is used the most. It's also interesting because unlike other social media platforms where people make friends online based on their interests um, and then perhaps meet those friends later in, um, in real life, in Facebook you're actually making your friends offline and then making them a Facebook friend. So Facebook, more than any other social network, tends to mirror sort of a real world network, um, but it's just very expanded and involves a lot more people. So we're using the um, NZAVS, um, just asking people about whether or not they have a Facebook profile, how many hours they spend on there per week, and how important Facebook is to them. In our sample in the NZAVS, 60% of New Zealanders have a Facebook profile. Um, and quite interestingly, Facebook says they have one billion users, which is one seventh, one seventh of the entire world population. Um, so we really want to know how this sort of new form of communication um, is sort of affecting New Zealanders, the way we socialise um, and uh, well-being. So extroversion is a personality trait. Uh, it's a measure of how much you like socializing with other people. Um, so extroverts sort of enjoy large parties and they, they tend to have a really wide circle of friends, whereas introverts um, have a smaller, maybe more intimate circle of friends um, and prefer to spend a little bit of their time alone. Um, in terms of social belonging, we're quite interested in that because there's sort of a bit of a debate going on at the moment about is our belonging, our sort of the sum of our meaningful ties to each other and our connections to sort of our community. Uh, is that increasing or decreasing um, based on social media? So are we getting more connected to people or are we sort of um, focusing on our phones and on our screens and not actually really connecting to anybody? So we found uh, different effects for different um, types of people who use Facebook, um, which is what we would expect because Facebook is basically just a tool and it really depends on what kind of effort you put into it. Um, so for extroverts, um, whether or not you had a Facebook profile, um, there was no difference between um, how much belonging you experience. So an extrovert is someone who um, is extremely outgoing and sociable, and basically whether or not you use Facebook, it doesn't make a difference to how much you feel like you belong in your circle of friends, um, with your family, um, and also just more generally. Um, however, for introverts, it was a little bit different. So introverts who use Facebook actually have lower belonging than introverts who don't use Facebook. Um, suggesting that the use of Facebook could possibly be affecting them and actually making them feel like they belong less. Um, so we found this effect in sort of the entire NZAVS sample, so um, men, women, young people, old people, um, and Facebook use is quite common across all age groups, um, across men and women. So women and younger people do use it slightly more, but still the use of Facebook is quite high just across the population. The general message that is coming through is that Facebook is not all that great for well-being, um, and so our research sort of adds to that, um, but in particular showing that it does differ depending on how you use it, so different for extroverts or introverts, um, so the effects are different depending on your personality. And so with this sort of debate about, you know, is social capital decreasing, we want to look at um, the new ways that people are using to connect to each other, which is social media and Facebook. Um, and we want to see whether it's equally beneficial or detrimental for everybody. Um, and so our findings show that it does actually differ depending on your personality. Um, so extroverts with the sort of new method of connection, they're doing fine, um, whereas introverts, it could actually be increasing the gap in social capital between some members of society and others. We're not going to get people to um, delete their Facebook profile, I think, but I think it would be good for people to be thinking about um, who they're interacting with on Facebook um, and whether or not it's sort of really working for them. So if you think of Facebook as a social tool, um, a cell phone is also a social tool, but you don't give out your number to every single person. Um, so when you're on Facebook, everyone you're friends with, you're getting a lot of content into your life, which could be you know, causing social comparison processes and making you feel um, like your life isn't quite as good as other people's when you're seeing you know, their vacation photos and getting married and all those sorts of things. Well, we'd like to follow up the um, research over time, so see how having a Facebook profile and the number of hours you spend on there is sort of changing um, social belonging and well-being across time. And we're also interested, um, we've added a measure recently, into cyberbullying. So rather than looking at just positive um, effects of you know, Facebook, social media, what happens when people actually are deliberately negative to each other online, um, and not just in young people, but in adults as well. It turns out um, cyberbullying rates can be quite high even in adulthood. Um, so that's something that needs to be looked at.